Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. This is a video that was requested by one of our viewers called Speedy Tech uh, to ask for the extensions that I use for my Visual Studio code. So I'm just going, this is what the video is about. So uh, shout out to Speedy Tech for this lesson. All right, so I'm just going to show you all the extension I use for Laravel and PHP. Obviously, I've got different ones for Python and JavaScript, but I'm not going to show you those. I'm just going to show you the ones that I use for my Laravel application. So yes, so let's get started. So this is my list. I'm going to go through the list. Um, so this might be a little bit of a long video. So I'm going through my list of the, the extensions I use for Laravel, which I recommend to use, but you can obviously decide which ones you want to keep and not. And this is the non-Laravel uh, extensions, but useful like the Alpine JS and the Tailwind and all that kind of stuff. So I'll go through them one by one. So, and just to show you what they do in more or less, but I'm, there's some of them I'm not actually not even going to show like the IntelliSense and stuff like that. Okay, so let's start with the top one, uh, P Laravel Artisan. So let me open my extensions right here. So if we go to Laravel Artisan, that's the first one that I have. So Artisan. Okay, so this is the first one. Um, what it does, what it does, is gives you the ability to actually in your editor itself type in uh, artisan uh, commands. And but let me show you what they do. All right, so this is the first one, Laravel Artisan. So let me just close it right there, so you can click on it. It's by Ryan, and you can just obviously install it. So let me just go right here and just open. Uh, the the one that I like to use is the routeless. Okay, so art you just type in artisan. Like here, you get a complete list of convict clear, convict cache, and all that kind of stuff. Key gen, but the one I'm just going to use artisan routeless right here. All right, so then you can have actually, as you can see right here, you can have all your routes right here instead of going to your terminal because sometimes in your terminal. Um, it depends if your windows are too small or too large. You cannot see everything quite clearly. So, all right. So, this is the first extension I have. Um, all right. So, that's the first one, Laravel Artisan. The Obviously, the one that you do need for Laravel is the Laravel Blade Snippets right here. The Blade Snippets, Laravel Blade. But, uh, the Blade Snippets, I feel like they're a bit old of this one. That's why I don't use it. Um, because it still gives you a little bit old syntax and things like that. But they're obviously going to update it in the future when you watch the video. So please don't uh, quote me on that. All right. So the next one that I have is I use the Laravel Blade. It's got snippets, syntax, highlighting, and all that kind of stuff. So this is the one that I use, Laravel Blade by Amir. Okay. So I got Amir Mamu. I'm using his uh, Laravel Blade extensions. Quite a useful one. Um, you just need to go to Emmet and just sit, add this little um, piece of code right there just to kind of edit it. Okay. Just to show you how to do that, you go to your settings. All right. You go to the gear icon on settings. And what you do, just open in your right corner right there, you will see a little icon open settings in JSON. All right. Now, as you can see, Emmet including languages. All right. Now, obviously, I added a couple of things extra here. So I got my blade for HTML right there. If you can see this blade for HTML, then you just add the include languages. Obviously, I'm doing React stuff as well. So I got JavaScript React in there as well. So, but that is not Laravel orientated. But that's why that, that is in there because I'm doing JavaScript work and things like that as well. So, so just for the blade, you will normally, so the, this part and the PHP, that will not be available in there. You will just have the blade HTML in there. Okay. So that's how you add that. All right. The next one that we have on the list is the Laravel Blade Spacer. All right. So let me just, this one right here by Austin uh, Cameron. So this is quite handy. So it just kind of give you a nice little spacing. So let me just go to a file quickly. Let's go to a file. So basically what we do is that Laravel Blaze, what it does, if, if soon as you start putting your brackets, it automatically gives it some space between your brackets. Otherwise, all of this would have been closed like this. And when you type in, 
things like that. What it does is just giving some room between your um, whatever you need to type between the uh, curly braces. Like in this case, it just gives us that little bit of room so that you can actually see the thing right there. All right. So that's what the Laravel Spacer does, and that's what I installed as my extensions. Let me just close this. No, I don't want to save that. All right, the next one on the list is the Laravel Extra Intelligence. All right, this one right here by Amir again. Uh, I don't know if it's the same Amir. Okay, now this one, what it does, it just gives us some extra intelligence and things like that, just to kind of speed up your workflow and your work and stuff like that. Okay, so that's the one. So I'm obviously not need, don't need to explain it. So Laravel Extra Intelligence, that's the one I use. Okay, by Amir. As you can see, it's got five stars. All right. The next one is the Laravel Go to View. All right. So if let's say open up a controller, let's just open our thread controller. Just the controller that we have. So what it does is it gives us an underlying right here. So if you can click on the view itself, it will actually go to that view. Just speeds up your workflow. Like I said, just speeds up the workflow again. So let's just go to that extension. By Amir, uh, not this one, Laravel Go to View. Let's just show you which one it is. All right, the next one, this is by Coding You. All right, so this is the one, a uh, quick jump to the view. So, and uh, then basically in your controller, it will just underline it, and then you can just click and you can go to the view right there. All right, so that's the one that we have is the Laravel Go to View by Coding You. All right, so this is the one. The next one is Laravel Go to Components. Okay, let's see where that one is. Laravel. All right, so the Laravel go to components is got Laravel hyphen go to uh, hyphen components, right? By Noray, right? So this is the one that you use, right? Let me just show you how this one looks like. Now, as you can see, we got our blade components right here. And what it does, it just gives us an underlying underneath it so that you can be able to go to your components. Because normally it would have, let me just type in a one that doesn't exist. Uh, just like this. Okay. Normally this would have been the components. So you will just say, okay, this is the component. Then you will go to your components and then search for that actual component. But with this, what this does, it just speeds up the workflow again. So that's kind of what you want. So if you can just immediately just you can just click on the component itself and then you'll go to the component. So that's kind of the handy. As you can see, I can quickly go to any component I want quick and easy. All right. So with that one is basically the Laravel go to components uh, by Noray. All right. And you'll see it doesn't have any stars on it. Please, if you guys can start it, it's, it is a very, very nice. Um, extension all right so let's move on the next one is obviously a nice one to have is laravel go to the controller so let me just go to laravel go to controller all right so this is the next one i have in the list laravel go to controller this is not the one i use all right so this is the one i use by uh steph k all right very 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 nice one so the, obviously, they got the syntax of the Laravel 7, not the newer one. But let me just show you if we go actually to the controller itself. So let's just open our web route. I'm not the welcome there. Okay, so we're going to go in here. So what you can do is if you go over, as you can see right there, and you just press control and you will, it will highlight for you. So you, what you do is you go to the, uh, your route right there and you just hover your mouse over it and you press control and then you can obviously go to the controller as you can see i click on it and i can go to that controller right there right you just press control uh, and then you hover your mouse over the controller and you can just click on it and you will go to that controller right so that's the laravel go to controller i have the next one is php debug it's obviously uh, Laravel is a PHP framework, so it's quite handy to have that as well. So this is the one I use by Felix Decker, Becker. Um, so that's the one. And another one just on top of that is actually PHP IntelliSense, which I by Ben uh, Mubin. So quite handy to do. So that's the 
two that I recommend to install. The next one is the PHP namespace res uh, resolver. So this is the one by Meheri Hassan. All right, so the PHP namespace resolver, that's the one I use. Now this is quite handy. Now let's say, let's go to our controller, uh, co controller again. Just open our thread controller. All right, let's say you want to import the thread right here. So instead of having to type in use, uh, let's just go, let's just look for the thread model, this one right here. So you would have normally come on top and you would have said use, app models whatever the case may be to put include this right here so now what you can do it actually resolve this namespace because this is what this is actually namespace to that path of that model right so you can actually now you can just click on the model itself and you press Control alt and i and then you can import the class at the top right there so, all right so let me just delete this all right and i go over the model right there and i actually can just press Control, alt and i and then you, as you can see it imports the class right there very very handy to do and very to use okay so let me just let's like Control uh, plus alt and then plus i for import basically all right just to do that okay Right, so the next thing that I have is the PHP Storm snippets for PHP Storm. So what that does, let's just go to our thread controller again. If let's say I want to type in, so for people that's used to PHP Storm and but they're working visuals through their code, you can now instead of actually typing the fun function, you can just do pop f, all right, and then you can actually create a public function or as other case public sf, and you can create a static function. Right, very handy. There's actually a lot more. Let me just show you where that is. Okay, so let's show PHP snippets. Let me just put storm. All right, this is by Fita uh, Fighter Fernandez. Right, sorry if I butcher your name right there, sir or ma'am. All right, so PHP Storm snippets for PHP, PHP snippets for PHP Storm. This is the one that I use. As you can see, there's a little bit more that you guys can see. Uh, you can do echo uh, for each loop, uh, include public function, all that kind of stuff, require ones, require all that kind of stuff is in here. So quite a little bit nice extension. So this is the one I use, okay? And the next one is the Alpine JS extension. Let me just go top and just delete this. All right, Alpine JS. Obviously, if you do Laravel with some of the extensions, you're going to work with Laravel uh, with Alpine. So this is quite a nice little extension to have in. The auto rename tag is also the one I have. So it's not Laravel related, but you're going to work with some elements in your HTML and stuff like that. And this auto name tag is quite useful to have in my case. Uh, beautify, this just beautifies up your code. Um, obviously for JavaScript and HTML orientated, but it's quite handy. Bra bracket pair colonizer by Kunrad. Uh, very, very handy and nice. So if you're gonna go to my controller right here, as you can see, it colorize the brackets right there so you can easily see let's say you've got another bracket square bracket in this bracket as you can see it's it colors it a little bit differently so that you know that which group goes where all right so the next one is the dot env file that's the one i have right here so it just kind of styles it a little bit differently instead of everything being white where you normally get when you go to your dot env file and it's quite not for me personally, not easy to look and see where everything is and stuff. Okay. And the next one is highlight uh, matching tag. All right. So let's go to one right here. Now, as you can see, if I click on the section right there, it highlights where the section is and ends. So as you can see, if I click on the main, it highlights the main right there. So that one is another one that I use. Let me just go there. Highlight matching tag by Vince Colt. All right. Uh, then castle right or something sorry if i missed 
butchered their name. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's one indent rainbow. Obviously, you guys have seen it. This is the indent rainbow that I use. So it might not be necessary for you, but it just <laughs> just works nicer for me having it in so I can see where it starts and ends like that. Okay, so that's for me personal preference. So you can um obviously the next one is the Tailwind CSS. Is this comes now with Laravel um pre-installed. Okay, so you can obviously still use Bootstrap, but I like Tailwind. After you getting used to Tailwind, I like Tailwind. What that does is let's just go to Tailwind. Uh, this one right here by Brad. Okay, so if I start typing, let's say color, let's say in text. Right, let's say I start typing something in here, so like say text. As you can see, it brings out this uh, little things right there, so I can see use other text small, just kind of speed up the workflow again. Like I said, just speeds up your workflow. The next one is Live for LiveWire language support. Um, I kind of I really like LiveWire, so this is another one that I would recommend you to install by Sierra. Uh, very very nice one. Okay. Right, so that's all my extensions. I didn't want to make the video too long. So if you want to pause the video, just pause them and then just go every single one of them. Right, if you want to just have them in, most of the stuff you, I would say this, I would recommend. The artisan, not really. Uh, that's just preference, but most of this, I would recommend just to kind of speak up, speed up your workflow and stuff like that. Right, as you can see, there's another one of the tall stack. As you can see, most of the things that I've talked about is kind of the things that I put in here as well. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you don't, please give it a dislike. And yes, hopefully I'm just going to continue with our forum series. Um, my PC was in for repairs and I got it almost done because my SSD backed up. So I'm back on my HD. So things are a bit slower now. And it's still under warranty, so I'm just waiting for them to get back to me to put in a new SSD drive. Right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And yes, um, have a wonderful day wherever you are. Say uh, hi to your loved ones. Greet them and love them. See you guys, and just see you in the next one.